Hi guys, so today I wanted to do my November favourites. I have a few favourite things that I've been using this month and um, just wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, so first thing I'm going to talk about is these earrings. Now I showed these earrings in a recent haul. I got them from Gloss and oh, how much were they? can't really remember how much they were but I'm pretty sure they were on special. I think they were like three or four dollars, something like that. Um, I love them. So they're just big sort of wire love hearts, really. And they're big dangly. I love big dangly earrings, so yeah. <laughs> so that's my favorite jewelry, pretty much for November, that I've been wearing a lot of. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is the Clarins Hand and Nail Treatment Cream. So this is it here. I'm not really sure if you're gonna be able to see that, depending on my lighting. Now, um, I talked about this recently as well. I This is a little sample that I got um, when I bought the Clarins cleanser and toner for my sister for Christmas. They ended up giving me a gift pack and this was in it. I haven't used any other products yet in that little gift pack because uh, I'm just not really sure on um, using them while being pregnant and things of that nature. I've tried to find the information on if it's safe to use the particular samples that I got but I haven't really been able to find um, a lot of information when it comes to being pregnant of course they're great for your skin if you're not pregnant but when you're pregnant you do have to be careful with what you're using especially when it comes to creams and and uh, cleansers because they do sort of obviously soak into your skin so but I do use the hand and nail treatment I haven't had any problems with that and I absolutely love this stuff so using my little 50 meals here that I got and I just want to show you guys my nails now my nails haven't been that great and now they are just hopefully you guys are gonna see that now I have a naturally French tip now I do not French tip my nails I do not go and get um, manicures or anything like that just basically because you know I'm trying to get as much baby stuff together as I can and I can't really afford to um, be spending money on manicures and stuff like that when I can sort of just try and maintain them at home so I, had, I don't have anything on my nails I don't have any type of um, top coat or anything like that to protect them. I just basically, after my shower at night time, I put a pea size amount of the Clarins hand and nail treatment on my hands and I just do that. I work it into each nail, not majorly, just a little bit of that, you know, nothing too major. I want to be quick about it and that's it. And my nails, I don't know, it speaks for themselves really. So, and that's the other hand. My nails are probably a little uneven at the moment, but my nails, hands, nails, I'm not sure what I just said, <laughs> but, um, oh, love it, love it. <laughs> so I just wanted to show that one with you guys. Okay, next, um, while we're talking about hands and nails, another product that I got recently was the Australis Nail Color Intense Color with a High Shine Streak Free Top and Base Coat. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I just got it all in there then. So I got that recently. The only, I haven't ever really been using a base coat before I put my nail polish on. And I figured I probably should be doing that to help my nail polish stay on. So I've only used this once or twice in the past month. But I'm really impressed with the results that I've got when I have done my nails. When I've painted them. They have lasted um, maybe even two days longer than what they usually would, as in chipping and things of that nature. So, sorry if my lighting is going really funny, I'm just using sort of natural light at the moment. And it's very cloudy today. So I've been loving the Astralis um, top and base coat. I've just been using it as a base coat, and I always use my Revlon top coat, which I've showed you guys many times before. So Astralis um, top and base coat. Enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Now, this is not something that I've talked about before um, with a favourite or a haul. I haven't showed this type of product before, but I wanted to share it because I have been very impressed with it. And I think all ladies should 
try this product. So it's the Red Wing Sensitive Skin Antiperspirant Deodorant. Um, and I picked this one up because it, it's basically aluminum free. And I hope I'm saying that right. My tongue does not work since I've been pregnant. My brain doesn't seem to be working properly either. So I probably look like a total twit, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. Because a lot of the deodorants out there um, are actually quite harmful. They cause cancer. We all know that situation. So I wanted to try this one. This is the first one that I've tried. It's in a pump spray, as you can see. Now I two pumps of this and I am good to go and it lasts me all day and I really don't have a smell about me at all apart from the perfume that I use because I did find that obviously you know your your deodorants and stuff are quite strong smelling and then you put a perfume on top of that sometimes it can conflict sometimes it doesn't but sometimes it does this product I have not had that problem once I put this on it does smell quite strong when you put it when you put it on but then you it's basically you have no smell apart from just a clean smell you don't have you know anything sometimes i don't even put perfume on and i'm not even i don't smell at all and i like to, and you know i check so um great great product so give it a go girls and if anybody has tried this let me know you know what even my partner has tried this one and it's you know i'm not sure if it's for women just women, I'm sure men can use it as well, but he enjoys it too, so, and he's a man, he can get stinky, so, this is great for men too, I'm sure there's a men's one anyway, okay, so moving on, next, uh, my favourite brush this month has been my Models Prefer brush, and I showed this one in my last haul, it's the MPP100 Airbrush, so here it is, it's a little dirty, I've been using it, so I need to clean it tonight, but I just love this brush i love it love it love it i don't use any of my other foundation brushes at the moment because i'm just so in love with this brush um definitely going to be going back and getting more of the models prefer range i was hoping they would have some sort of pack but i haven't been able to find one but it's coming up to christmas so hopefully soon they're going to bring out one that is available to me somewhere so um absolutely love it and i picked this one up in priceline so Love this brush, love it. Okay, so now I recently picked up the Revlon Color Stay lip liner and I got it in rose and I'm wearing it at the moment. Hopefully, you guys are going to be able to see my lipstick, I'm not quite sure. But I have been loving this lip liner and I have watched. Lots of different people showing their comb their lip combinations recently, and a lot of the ones that I've watched, they have been using this one. So, and I was a little confused at first because there's the rose, and then there's another one that's called rose, but it's a lot darker. It's a more of a pink color. But I end up picking up this one, and I really enjoy this one. And I don't usually use a lip liner, so this is probably the first lip liner that I would that I have been wearing every day and actually, you know, going out and reapplying, like if I need to re reapply it, then I would. Usually I would just put a lipstick and that would be it. I would forget about the liner if it comes off, but this one I have enjoyed reapplying. So the Revlon Color Stay lip liner in Rouge. So I've been enjoying that. And um, the lipstick that I've been wearing with that one that I'm wearing today, and hopefully you guys are going to be seeing it Due to my lighting, I'm not sure. I have actually been using a BYS uh, long wear lipstick with this one. And it's uh, it's beautifully bare. So here it is in the little package. As you can see, it's a little grotty around here. That is actually from the ticket, surprisingly. It's not the lipstick, it's just from the ticket. Um, so it's a nude cut. It's a nude colour. I'll swatch it. It's a pinky nude colour really. So that's it there. A BYS. And I just love the two together. I think they match quite nicely and I like the look. Uh, now <laughs> I've pulled out another lipstick that I got 
quite a while ago. It, this is not part of my favourites for the month, but I wanted to talk about it because I have dotted it on as well, sometimes. But I wanted to show it more because of the packaging of these two. And as you can see, they are pretty much identical. Now, I don't know which brand and which range come out first. This is the BYS uh, Longwear Lipstick. This one, the other identical one, is the Revlon Color Stay. So, hopefully that's going to come up and you guys can see. Now, this color is 240 Baby Peach. So that's that colour there, I'll swatch it, which is a peachy colour. So as you can see, that's the Revlon and that's the BYS. So I've been matching these two together um, along with the lip liner and I don't know, I've, I've been enjoying it. But I just wanted to show you guys that because of the packaging, because they are pretty much identical. And I don't know which, which one come out first, I don't know. but. Imagine them two together. Okay, so the lipsticks. Then on top of that, I've also been using my L'Oreal Paris Inflatable Longwear Duo Compact. Now, I haven't been using the lipstick, but I have been using the, I'm trying to see what it is, it's the conditioning balm. So you just pop it out like that. The lid stays in there, and then you have your balm because my lips have been ultra, ultra dry and it doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to matter what um, lip balm I've been using, hasn't really helped me. So I've been using this one, it's all dirty as you can see and I just love it. You just need a little bit on it and it's very, very greasy and I need that at the moment. So have been enjoying that one too. Just the conditioning balm. Okay, now, Coming up to the last couple of little things. My favourite perfume for this month is the Mariah Carey one. It's part of the Lollipop Bling range. And I just want to check the name of it because I always get it mixed up. This one is Ribbon. So there it is in a little bottle. And I love it because it's got the butterfly. And all Mariah Carey perfumes seem to have that butterfly apart from the Forever. And I just love this one at the moment. It's just, it's so fresh and sweet smelling. I just love it. I just love this one. So this is my favorite one for this, for this month. So Lollipop Bling Range Ribbon. <sighs> okay, so going on to something a little bit fun now. And my very, very good friend, um, Clancy. She recently went over to the US uh, to visit her boyfriend and while she was there, she obviously done a little bit of shopping and she actually picked me up a few things which I didn't expect. I didn't think, you know, you know, she would do something like that, but um, not that she wouldn't do something like that, but you know, she's there, she's overseas, she's, you know, she's got so much going on. so. I was very, very grateful that she did pick up a few things for me and my family and my little baby on the way and my daughter. And it was just so fabulous. It was made me have a tear to my eye. But um, <laughs> one, one of the, well, a couple of things that she sent me was sort of food items. And I'm not even going to get into the candy corn because I've already ate it and it's all gone. <laughs> um, but... I just loved, loved the candy corn. She got me candy corn. I'm not sure if we could get candy corn in this country, but I've never tried it before. I've just, I was always like, candy corn, I want to try candy corn. And she got me a big bag of candy corn and it was just amazing. And I just munched down on that like you would not believe. But another thing that she had sent to me were these bubble gums, the extra, and it's the dessert delights range. And she sent me a whole bunch of these to try. And they are divine. We don't get them here that I have seen. So I wanted to show you guys these ones. Uh, the first one she sent, well, she, she sent them all together, but I'm just going to show you in a random order. So this one is, is sugar-free gum, and it's this one is apple pie flavor. 
and it has a very cinnamon taste to it. It actually sort of, when I first tasted it, I was like, it tastes just like the apple pies from McDonald's. So they were very, very nice. They're still, I don't want to eat all of them. So there's still some in there. So that one's the apple pie. She also sent me the orange cream pop. So it's like an orange ice block flavor, which oh, is so, so good as well. Love that one. Then she sent the strawberry shortcake flavor. And this has been a favorite with everybody that has tasted it. And I think my daughter has ate all of these and there's one left and I don't want to eat it because I ain't going to get them again. <laughs> so there's that one. And this one is my ultimate favorite. I will not let anybody else eat these ones. I said, you can have one each and that's it. You live in their mind. <laughs> um, and that's the mint chocolate chip. Because I absolutely love mint, peppermint, spearmint, anything like that. It's my favorite flavor. So, and chocolate chip, mint. You know, I eat the ice cream and it's like, oh, it's like the best ice cream ever. So to have it in a gum is awesome. So that's my favorite one there. Absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Clancy, for all of the wonderful gifts that you had um, brought back and then sent to me. <laughs> so thank you very much. Love you Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's my November favorites. Um, now, I'm going to be having a sort of weird glossy box sort of thing going on. I recently signed up to Glossy Box, but because I signed up sort of halfway through the month, I've only just received my November Glossy Box now, and it's the 30th. So my next video will be Glossy Box. I'm probably not going to be able to get that up until December, so it's going to be a bit weird, but yeah, I'll explain it more when it comes time to do the Glossy Box, but that will be my next video. So, and I'm very excited. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're a new subscriber, let me know you're a new subscriber. Comment um, on my channel, send me messages if you like. I would love to see all my new subscribers letting me know that they are a new subscriber. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. So, I have, I have been loving the Australis, uh, Australis, uh, uh, I can't even talk, <sighs> pregnant brain, it's crazy.